Hello, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Signal here, and welcome back to our video. So, you know how I like to put myself weird, dumb conditions? I want to kill Mr. Freeze in the next uh, five fights. Why five fights and not six? Because this man remains after yesterday's fight with one HP. And I want to kill this man. We have four targets to kill. We're going to start off by killing Batman with the uh, Grod Batman Ninja Team. Because this is a team that guarantees me 2 billion damage if they are used in uh, a convenient situation. Now, I can't use him versus uh, Captain Cold because he's going to be lethal immune. And I can't use him against Aquaman because that's an inconvenient fight over there. Also, against Mr. Freeze would be kind of inconvenient. I guess we could circumvent that by putting uh, the Sword of Sin on Brainiac. Also, I'm not sure I should have done this thing specifically to start off the fights. It's okay, it's a rather small arena, so pushing him to the corner will not take long. Okay, let's focus here. Just need to finish stacking with Brainiac. Let's get Grodd in there, actually. To get some dot damage while we stack. Not sure if it matters that much, but hey, it's, it's some additional damage. And you can see the dot value going up as your lethal attack damage goes up, which is nice. By the way, Beta Club at level 10 on Grods. Um, uh, let's stack this man just to be sure. We're down during X stacks. But yeah, Beta Club at level 10 on Grods. Uh, I think Thermal Club on Brainiac at level 6. And we're gonna have a level 8 Norris Snow Globe on Robin. I like it so much that you don't lose Robin's bonus whenever he dies, because you, you can just tank all the super moves with him, he dies, no problem. Nothing was lost in that fight. But if Brainiac died, we would lose all that lethal tag damage. Oh, 40 mil per second at this point. We're really popping off here. And uh, there we go. Please no unusual gameplay, like a character died and stuff, you know? There we go, damage was registered, now let's move on to the next fight. We're going to kill this man here with Batman on the ground, because uh, we have the opportunity to combo and chop here. Wait, let me let me just vibe check again if we were fine to use my characters here. Opponent special 2, lethal resistance, uh, yeah, we're, we're good, we're good, there should not be any problem for Batman on the ground here. But yeah, I can combo and chop this man, so being able to combo and chop him opens the possibility of using crown or dark metal cards on Batman on the ground. So that's what we're going to do, and we can easily kill this man. Because that's such a stronger artifact than God Killer. And with God Killer we were getting close to 2 billion damage. Brown is by far the least convenient to use in terms of the fact that you have to stack it. Uh, but it's gonna be the highest damage overall. Right now we are at zero crown stacks. And we're sitting at a respectable 11 mil per second. Okay, tag out. Have this man tank it. Is fine. I'm not sure Batman would have survived that. He might have. But I'm glad we didn't risk it. We used our own super move. That's great. We're getting a huge damage boost from that. Yeah, already 24 mil per second and we still have a lot of crown stacks to get. Use a special 2 here. Another one. Boy, I find the special two so inconvenient to use. Right, the really is hard to get used to using. But yeah, we're done with Tekken Crown, and we should be at peak performance.
A whole 40 mil per second, would you take a look at that? That's that's definitely not bad. He's definitely gonna like die and stuff. Cool stuff. Though he, he can survive if he kills me. Because it kinda takes just one mistake to die here. more activation in this man is done for we do have room for one mistake in this run because um, after we kill this man we'll have like uh, two more targets to kill and three more teams but there is room for one mistake but it has to be a small mistake where the enemy remains in uh, cleanup range and the mister is going to be easy because i'm just going to use raven with the uh, uh, the sort of sim and uh, king with beta club, but we'll have to see what we do about Aquaman. But so far, very successful attempts. Over here, I think we do have the damage. I'm pretty sure we have the damage. I'm not 100% sure, but we have Harley with um, Crown of Conduct. We're going to have one Roman with um, the Burning Gloves for passive stats mainly, and I have EPI with, with North Snow Globe. The only problem is not getting killed by this man so far in recent memory i remember two times where harley got killed by this man and uh, every single time i say i got to be careful here and then i'm not careful and then i die who would have expected that first i want to build up enough for super maybe if i put the gears on uh, classic wonderman not gearless for the purpose of this fight she was gearless for another fight whether she pretty much needed to die fast because of Chaos Stagnant or something like that. Oh! First Harley mistake. We lost some power. Well, I'm happy I'm alive though. Okay, let's go. Please give me a power refund. No power refund. Unlucky. Come on, do something. I want to save tagging for Harley. There we go. There's no way of power refund here because we do not have the combo. Bro! This, this was not me. This was lag. Like, come on, this is bullshit. Please, just let me put this man in cleanup range. Like, it's not, it's not asking too much. I don't even want to kill him at this point. Just let me damage him enough to the point where I can kill him with another team. Mantle will do a very good job here. Because I don't know if you're aware, but Manta's passive that's going to grant him uh, additional damage on basic hits. It's gonna have pretty much double the effect against Aquaman characters. Or triple the effect, something like that. So Mantle will have absolutely no pro problem clearing this up. But we need to get it to a point where he just needs to clear it. Though so far so good, got some juicy power rebounds. Another special two. Another one. We're gonna get very close to killing him, actually. Not, not, not. Maybe I'm exaggerating, saying very close, but close enough. We haven't tagged out in a long time. The power refunds were very good to us. One more special two. We might get one or two hits before the fight ends. Yeah, exactly two hits. This is doable. This is definitely doable for Manta. I, I, unless I die trying. 
yeah let's uh, let's try it okay let's go i'm gonna start with green lantern actually because i want to tag mantine so that he gets a clean start to his combo and i'm hoping to kill this man before uh, manta even loses shield i have to kill him pretty fast because he will eat through that shield he's got a decent amount of damage We have Joe Price Bat Rings at level 10 on Manta. Okay, tank this for me. Thank you very much. Can we still not lose the stacks? Yep, perfect. Special applying the poison stacks. Okay, you know what? Kill this guy, please. As we Joker is bettering, if of the fight ends too fast, you might get the usual gameplay. Yeah, killing a clone is fine too, I think. We lost all these stacks on the path. It's fine, he's got no health left. I just want to make sure the game doesn't think I'm hacking. But let's wait a bit, because it's not past two minutes. Now we should be good to kill him. There we go. Please, please, don't don't ruin my run game. There we go, damage registered. Now let's move on to the final fight. And now for the final fight of the video, and let's hope also the fight that kills uh, Mr. Freeze here. We're going to use this thing with those artifacts, uh, bait club on King. We only have uh, the North Snow Globe for passive stats, but with this thing you don't need that many passive stats. I'll definitely take the convenience of... Uh, Sort of send over the um, thermal gloves. Like the thermal gloves would still work for the purpose of stopping the ice fall because they are also inflicting burning on Tagen. But sort of send is also gonna keep him at zero power. And since we don't need more damage, because I'm for sure gonna have enough damage, like 1000%, I'm gonna have enough damage here. Why not go full convenience here? Another special two, three darkness stacks, I think two stacks on King so far. We're building up. It's gonna be a bit slow at the start. Another special two. And another special one. Let's go 21 mil per second already. We can stick for one more special two. 30 mil per second. Now let's tag in Raven. Reset that darkness. Even super moving him. Yeah, it seems like we're gonna peak at 68. Or, yeah, 68. We're not gonna go further than that, but as you can see, we don't really need to. Okay, you might as well kill King here, because yet again I'm trying to avoid the unusual gameplay bug. Better safe than sorry. Boop, there we go. And now let's take a look at the rewards. And those are the amazing rewards that we got. Thanks so much for watching, like the if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!